Welcome to the homework for lesson three. This is module eight of second grade. Name here first, please. And use a straight edge to draw the polygon with the given attributes in the space to the right. Now, straight edge can, it doesn't have to be a ruler, but those are, that's usually what we think of, uh, depending on how much room you have on your table around you. Or if this is in a binder or something like that, you might want to use something a little bit shorter. I'm using the edge of an envelope for a straight edge. Uh, draw a polygon with four angles. So let's see, four angles. That's a sense it's going to need four sides. So let's go. Oh, that's not very straight. I can do better than that. And if you draw these by hand instead of using a straight edge, it won't look right. It be, uh, as a teacher, I'm telling you right now, well, I'll be able to look at it and say, you didn't use a straight edge. Do it over. That's what I would do. So use a straight edge. It doesn't take that much more time, and it makes it look right. And the whole, less, the whole idea of this is it has to look right. One. And this is coming from somebody, if you watched enough of these videos, you know I can't draw a straight line by hand. There. And sometimes it's not perfectly straight when you draw it because the straight edge moves on you. And if you, you really have to hold it down with two fingers that are spread apart, or if you spread your, uh, holding down your straight edge, hold it down. If you hold it down with one finger, it's going to move. If you spread your fingers apart and hold it down, then it's going to, it's a better chance of st staying still. So, all right, there's four sides here. Four angles and four sides, name of the polygon, it's a quadrilateral. And now draw a six-sided polygon. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. Draw a six-sided polygon. It doesn't have to be a perfect hexagon, but it's got to be six sides. My suggestion is try to make the sides short, because longer sides are harder to keep straight. There's three. I need three more. Moving my straight edge around. Now I have to connect these last two. There. Number of angles, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a hexagon. And now polygon with three angles. Three angles means three sides. Please, again, straight edge. Your triangle does not have to look exactly like mine, but the sides do have to be straight. And I'll be able to tell by looking at it if you used a straight edge or if you just try to fake it and draw it by hand. Three sides. Polygon's a triangle. And a five-sided polygon. One. Two. Three. Now I can't connect it yet, but I'm going to have to. Four. Five. One, two, three, four, five angles. Pentagon. to draw two new examples of each polygon that are different from those you drew on the first page. Okay, so I need two more quadrilaterals, and mine is kind of a irregular looking one. It's not a rectangle really. It's not a square or anything else. So I just need to just draw two quadrilaterals. I'm going to zoom in a little bit for this. Now 
you might hear me moving my envelope around because that's my straight edge. One, two, three, four. I'm going to try to erase that extra part that's sticking out there. And now I need two hexagons. Let's see, what did I drew, draw before? Uh, oh, it's just kind of an irregular connection of hexagon of, of six straight sides. So let's see. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, six, and here's another one. One. Two, as long as it has six sides, they don't have to look like mine. Use a straight edge. That's three, four, five. Now, let me make that a little bit, a little, a little bit higher up. Just so it doesn't look like when I connect these two, it doesn't look like one straight line. Six. Okay, there's two hexagons. Pentagon. What did I draw before? Okay, something different than that one. Okay, how about one that looks like a house? Straight edge, please. Kind of goofy looking house. Uh, and then five. Let's just make this one kind of random. There. And triangles. One. Two, three, clean that up with my eraser so we don't have sides sticking out like that. Let's make a really long, skinny one. Although short sides are easier to draw and keep them straight. Let's clean up this extra piece there. Make sure this looks closed. There we go.